Hi dear colleagues, greetings from Turkey. My name is Hasan Camci. I am excited to bring our study comparing the aesthetic impact of virtual mandibular advancement, bichectomy, jawline and their combination. In this video, I will tell you about the research background of our article. People nowadays, as you know, want to have the most beautiful and flawless face possible, but as orthodontists, our options are limited. For example, let's talk about an adult patient with skeletal class 2 malocclusion. For improving the facial aesthetic of this patient, we can only perform the mandibular advancement with orthogonatic surgery. And after the surgery, the complexity of the patient decreases, lower facial height increases. As a result, facial aesthetics improves significantly. However, the aesthetic demands of some patients do not end at this point. They might want to have more prominent and angular facial contours with jawline application. They might want to have full cheek volume with bichectomy. Of course, as orthodontists, we do not perform bichectomy or jawline, but I think we should know the relationship between these applications. Are these three methods, mandibular advancement, jawline, bichectomy, superior to each other? Or could one of them be substituted for the other? Let's assume you have a skeletal class 2 adult patient and she doesn't want to have orthognatic surgery. In this scenario, do you think a bichectomy or jawline would be a reasonable alternative to mandibular advancement for increasing facial aesthetic? Or another question might be, does the combination of these three applications result in the highest facial aesthetic score? Well, our article was designed to answer all these questions. I hope you will find the topic interesting and desire to check out full version of our article for more details. And before end up this video, we want to thank the American Journal of Orthodontics for giving us the opportunity to introduce our article. Thank you very much.